Hi everyone, I'm Anushri Chatterjee. I'm an assistant professor at the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering at University of Colorado Boulder. I'm also the founder of Antimicrobial Regeneration Consortium, a consortium that brings in uh, labs across the globe to accelerate development of antibiotics and diagnostics to address the challenge of antimicrobial resistance. So my lab is interested in building smart therapies uh, and we do this by two ways. First, uh, we use basic science to understand how organisms evolve. So we use synthetic biology and systems biology to understand evolution and learn from organisms. The other aspect of my lab is to combine basic science and engineering to build therapeutic platforms that can counter such evolving systems. So FAST uh, stands for Facile Accelerated Specific Therapeutic. And as the name suggests, the idea is to create therapies very fast. And we do this by uh, having a strong computational and bioinformatics toolbox that can predict therapies within a matter of minutes. We do synthesis within a matter of days and we test them within a day. And this entire process allows us to create therapies within a week, which is orders of magnitudes better than you know an year or so. Our second platform is a quantum dot based antibiotic because here we are actually taking a semiconductor material, engineering it in a way that it would respond or be excited by stimulus such as light or near infrared light. Um, and here we're trying to produce a very specific radical called superoxide, which is actually produced by our own bodies. But here we are producing it using the stimulus and this is again very, very effective against the most drug resistant clinical isolates. Our third platform is called CHAOS and it stands for Control Hindrance of Adaptation of Organisms. And the idea is very simple. We want to create chaos within bacteria. And in this particular approach, we really went back to the basics to understand how organisms evolve. We learned from that and then we created a synthetic biology approach where we perturb genes within the bacteria to essentially create chaos. So what I always look for students who are willing to think out of the box, are willing to challenge themselves, work hard and create solutions because then that has the potential to save a lot of lives in the future. So I believe chemical engineering and biological engineering will play a huge role in addressing global health challenges, whether it is to create therapies, devices, or just understanding how these organisms are behaving. Uh, and all of that is truly addressed in a chemical and biological engineering program.